Hey, Lily, would you like to come over to my place after school to play? Ella will also come. Hey, Sarah, I can't, I'm going home to study. I need to get good grades at the end because of my parents. I can't wait to finish elementary school, then high school and college, and then life begins. This will pass quickly. I'm counting the days. We're in the first year now. We still have a long way to go. Yes, but this year in high school is going to be amazing. Oh, it won't be. I couldn't wait to finish elementary school. This will pass somehow, too. Why are you talking like that? All of this is boring and a waste of time. Life begins after school. Do you want to go on the school trip? No, I don't like school or the class. Just want it to be over as soon as possible. I can't believe we've finished both elementary and high school and now we're in college. We only have a little bit left. Yes, you're right. I can't wait to get a job and get through all of this. But why aren't you enjoying this? This is one of the best parts of life. No, no, life begins after school. The days went by. Just as she finished elementary and high school, Lily also finished college, got a job, got married, and had two children. I have too much work. I'll have to stay longer again. Tomorrow is that important meeting and presentation, and it's my child's birthday. I'll miss my child's birthday again because of work, but that's how it has to be. Hey, Lily, is tomorrow Emma's birthday? Yes, but I won't be home because we're at that presentation all day tomorrow. Are you missing your child's birthday because of work? I missed it last year, too. There will be birthdays. We'll celebrate. I wouldn't tell you this if you weren't my best friend, but since you are, I have to tell you. Ever since I've known you, you've been chasing after something. To do something, to finish something, you keep postponing everything just for something to pass, to reach something. You say, life begins when I get there. I'll be happy when I have that, but you're never really happy and satisfied. Life isn't the destination, but the journey to the destination. Your child will grow up tomorrow and remember that you weren't there on their birthday. It's her birthday, and the person she loves the most isn't here. You never know what life brings. I'm sorry to say this, but you're not grateful for the things you have. Tomorrow you could die, and your child will never have their mom on their birthday again. God forbid you lose your child. You'd give anything to turn back time and spend that missed birthday with her. I'm sorry, but you're running a race that never ends. Sarah, you're right. Where is my life? Where are my memories from elementary school, from high school, from college, my outings, trips? I've deprived myself of the most beautiful memories, and now I'm depriving my child too. I've never thought, thank you, God, for giving me a child. I've never sat down and watched my child. I've always been thinking about something else. When will I do something, finish? All the wonderful moments that make up life have slipped away from me. I'm glad you understand me. So do something about it now, while it's not too late. We're not aware of what we have until we lose it. It's nice in life to have a goal, but life is actually the journey to that goal. Every day and moment that happened while we were heading towards the goal. Being grateful means being aware of what you have. Being grateful means being happy. We choose whether we'll be happy by focusing on gratitude, we choose happiness. Don't take anything for granted. Someone is praying to have what you have, and you're not grateful for already having it. Don't take anything for granted, because it can be taken away from you.